What's up guys, this is Biz from bsnooch.com and we're back again with another SMOD map ad tutorial. Today we're going to look at um, a custom entity for map ads called Remove Entity that the author put into SMOD. And uh, what this does is it allows you to uh, remove entities in the map and it's very useful and it's pretty easy so this should be a nice short video um, we're going to demonstrate uh, two different ways that this works so first of all let's uh, make sure you have of course all your uh, map adding tools the fizz gun the fizz launcher and all that good stuff and um, to start out with we're going to talk about one of the first ways that you can remove an, in, an entity and uh, that's going to be by target name so if we open our developer console here and we do int name and we point at this barrel now remember to see that name of the barrel you have to have developer uh, mode set to one at least uh, but anyways, this barrel is named Stucky, and the same with this one, and the same with this one. Now, Valve, for some reason, gave these barrels names. I don't know why, but uh, that makes our job today very uh, easy. So, let's go ahead and open our map ad file, uh, the one we've been using here. And we're going to make a new labeled group. We'll put this way down here at the bottom. So entities, let me blow that up a little bit for you guys. And then let's just call it uh, remove and test. Get your little braces. Okay, so the first thing to know about this is um, you cannot use it up here in the entities initialize section. That fires off when the map spawns you cannot use a remove entity in there so it's always going to be in a labeled group and there you go remove entity and there's no uh, key values like most other entities have because this is a custom thing so you don't need a key value section uh, in here the argument we're going to use first is target name and so um, what that does is it will remove an entity by target name this is very easy these are called Stucky uh, so yeah we just tell it we want to remove every entity with the target name of Stucky it'll check the whole uh, entity list and then remove them so Let's save uh, our map ad and restart. Okay, now you might be saying, well, how are you going to call that labeled group? I'm going to show you something else. I'm not sure if we've discussed this before, but we'll try to pack a lot into a short episode here. There is another command called instant trig run. <coughs> This is a custom command that the author put into SMOD, and here you can basically just call a labeled group. So, if we look back here, our labeled group is named remove int test. So, let's um, put in instant trigger run and then our group name, remove int test, and check it out. Right before your eyes, all the barrels have disappeared. Let's do that one more time. Again, Stucky, Stucky, Stucky. We'll run our label group and it removes them. So that's one way to use this. Now, let's say, let's come over here and um, let's say I want to remove something like this boat. Now, this boat, if we do ant name on it, doesn't have a name 
And you'll find that a lot with just props that Valve has put into the map. So if it doesn't have a target name, how would you remove this? Well, let's um, look at our map ad here. There is another way to use remove entity and that is by class name. So if you know what kind of class the entity is that you want to remove, you can use the class name argument and uh, it will remove all of that entity. Now let's let's try it like this. Uh, you'll see this is not going to give us the result we desire. Uh, just a quick test because now when we run this, it removes every single prop physics in the map, uh, which would mean on this map you just broke it to where the player can no longer progress past this puzzle because you removed all the blue barrels. So, not a great idea. Let's, um, you know what, let's restart real quick. So you might say, well, that's kind of useless. Uh, how could I make that work? Well, there are uh, some additional arguments we can use. So let's say we want to remove this box right here. Get out your fizz launcher, tag the old box with the alt fire, and we're going to go ahead and grab the origin. And, uh,. There are a couple more arguments. One of them is origin. So you can specify an origin point for the remove entity to hit. Like so. And then another argument is radius. And let's just do 50 for that. So think of this almost like a, a trigger, kind of an instant trigger, where you specify a, an origin point and then you build a radius out from there except instead of the player hitting it and something happening it basically just grabs any entities that are inside their origin point is inside the, that radius of this remove entity and it removes them so now make sure we save it of course and let's come back in the game here we'll restart come over here to our boxes and let's run our trigger boom check it out now it's only removing prop physics in a 50 unit radius from that origin point which is the exact center of the box when you um, shoot when you grab a uh, physics object it's gonna actually give you the origin point of it so that works perfectly now let's say just for argument's sake we want to um, get this box too and we don't want to keep uh, we don't want to keep doing a new remove entity every time I mean you could you could do this you could do make another remove entity grab the origin of the other box, paste it in here, and uh, save it, and let's restart. You could technically, when we remove the ant now, you'll see they both go, but if you don't want to clutter up your map ad file, Let's come back over here. You can actually get rid of the second one and just blow up the radius, make it like, I don't know, 100, oh, not 1500, 150 units. And uh, let's restart again. And so we can actually grab multiple physics props with one remove entity. Check it out. Boom. Just like that. So, again, just to recap what we learned here today, 
Uh, instant trigger run, the command in the console, very useful when you're just, uh, maybe you're building a, a sequence or some kind of group and you just want to test it without the player having to go through a trigger to activate it. Great command to know. And then also uh, the two types of remove entity uh, class name with the origin and a radius and also uh, removing by target name. And you may also be able to do target name with the origin and radius. I don't think I've tried it, uh, but occasionally you'll get something. Well, let's, uh, you know what, let's just try it right here. Let me restart. We'll just flesh this out all the way here. Oops. Okay. Let's say we only want to remove this middle barrel named Stucky. So let's go ahead and, and grab that and, uh, uh oh, hang on. Accidentally po uh, closed the map ad file. So we'll grab that origin and uh, we'll put it here for our. Stucky remove int and we'll just lower the radius to like I don't know 10. 10 should be a good number. Save it, restart. <clears throat> and now, since we've given the target name remover uh, remove int a uh, origin and a radius, it should only remove that one and not all of them named Stucky. Yeah. So there you go. So that's how it works. Uh, I hope you, that was uh, insightful for you guys. Very useful for removing stuff from the Half-Life 2 campaigns or like uh, deathmatch maps. If there's something in the way, you can get it out of there. Uh, remember, this is only going to work on entities that are uh, like dynamic or not compiled into the map. So if like static props, uh, stuff like that is not going to be able to be removed via the map ad, but this still gives you a lot of leeway, and uh, yeah, cool, well, I'll see you guys in the next episode, enjoy.